one, zero, and lift off the final An exciting and emotional blast. past two weeks for NASA as the 30-year run of the space shuttle program came to a screeching halt this week. Touchdown. Just a block from the white sand beaches full of happy vacationers is a harsh reality as nearly 3,000 NASA employees in several states were given their layoff notices, the largest single-day layoff yet for the shuttle program. And just in Florida, over 1,600 employees will be given their pink slips today in the building behind me. One by one, people filed into the processing center at the United Space Alliance in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Brian Jones has worked at NASA for 22 years. You know, it's sad to see the shuttle go. You know, it's been exciting, it's been fun, but uh, I don't agree with it. But, you know, it's, uh, I, I think uh, it's sad to see us not leading in space. Today it feels even sadder when we go in there and we, we see our friends, you know, leaving. We're all checking out. They did it very professionally. It was uh, went through very quick and in information, but uh, it's a sad feeling seeing the space shuttle come in and so many people getting laid off. For the thousands of laid off employees, a severance package awaits. One week pay for every year served, with a maximum of 26 weeks. The United Space Alliance is also helping with job fairs and career transition planning. It is a tough day. It's because this is a, it's a family. You know, the, the shuttle workforce has been a family for the last 30 years. Since 2009, close to 9,500 workers, from high-ranking members to the janitorial staff, will have been laid off nationwide from the shuttle program's demise. NASA's future in the business of space is uncertain, and so is funding as the program faces annual budget cuts of nearly two billion dollars. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida.